And so really what we look at the, at the new campus is doing is, first of all, providing uh, talent. It's just one of the big needs in New York City right now. I mean, in the tech sector in general, but especially in the city, is uh, the right kinds of talent. And in New York, that's in particular people who not only know technology, but also know something about various domains where technology is being applied. As we envision them initially, are in three areas, and those areas were picked because they're particularly relevant to the potential for technology uh, commercialization in New York City. So the, the three hub areas, one of them is called connective media, um, one of them is called uh, healthier life, and one is called the built environment. And they're all about technology for each of those areas. So it's really technologies for connective media, technologies for healthier life, technologies for the built environment. And so um, each of those brings together a, a, a set of disciplines that are related to a particular area where technology can be applied. It's because of the hub nature where you have students, academics, and industry all together, that feedback loop is pretty much instantaneous. It's really, really tight. So what that means is, is we'll get much faster feedback from industry on whether this idea is something that's going to be useful or not. And so I think it'll change the way that thinking happens down there. It'll be different. It'll be faster in the sense of being more tightly coupled with uh, real-world applications. New York City is really the hub of sort of engineering and design culture for the built environment in, in the United States. I think the ambition is to build essentially as close to, or at least to have pieces of the campus be what they call net zero, which in this case um, is uh, net zero energy. Right, so in other words, the idea is that the building produces as much energy as it uses. This you say, okay, so what is my building using energy for, right? And then you try and essentially reduce, through the design of the buildings, you have to try and reduce those loads as much as possible. So you reduce the heating loads, you reduce the cooling loads as much as possible by shading windows, natural ventilation, all kinds of techniques you can use to reduce your load. But then eventually, you also have to then do what is sort of generally considered on-site energy generation. And um, Cornell is doing two things in the plan that is as, as sort of as far as I understand it, which is one, they're gonna be using a lot of what's called geothermal energy, which means they're gonna be essentially sinking wells um, way down deep. Well, actually not that deep. I think they're three, 400 feet. And then they're essentially gonna be exploiting the fact that the earth, once you get below a certain distance, is a constant temperature. So they're gonna use heat exchangers to essentially use um, the, the temperature differential between the, the surface and the far underground to um, both heat and cool. And Cornell has a lot of experience with this because uh, you probably know this, but we have lake source cooling, which essentially is this very similar kind of idea. It's not geothermal, it's, it's using actually the lake water, but I mean, the idea is essentially the same. And then the other strategy uh, they're gonna use is they're gonna use an awful lot of uh, photovoltaic panels. So the design for the campus the ones that I've seen are all very much uh, focused about finding space to mount a um, very, very large, a very large number of uh, photovoltaic panels, which are directly create, directly create electricity right from the sun. There's concerns, of course, right? So this is a really big um, thing. This is huge. And so one of the concerns I hear from alumni is, is it going to take away from the Ithaca campus? And that's always a concern, and that's a fair concern. But one of the things I love about the proposal and the way it's been thought is that it's not a zero-sum game. It's not that we are going to take things from Ithaca to make New York, but rather um, we're going to add to the sum of what is Cornell. And I think that's going to take a lot of work, and it's going to take a lot of uh, careful thinking and speedy action. And I know that sometimes those two things don't go together, but I think that the people that are in place right now and the number of faculty, both at Cornell and around the world, that are excited, makes me think we can we can definitely pull this off.